Hey kids, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sunshine and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And today I have another Profit Picks video for you. I had some amazing sales. Yesterday I sold so many items. This is going to be a long video. So get your coffee and let's dive right into it. Okay, we're going to start off with uh, eBay. We're going to do it a little different this week because I had so many sales. So all of these sales are going to be from eBay and then we'll move on to Poshmark and then Macari. So the first item to sell was these Born Red Sandals. They were leather, they were new in the box, and I picked them up at a yard sale uh, a few months ago, paid $2 for them, and I had them listed for $44.77, and that's what they sold for. Good flip. Okay, next item to sell was this La Sierra Tropical Sundress in a size extra large. I picked this up at Goodwill a couple months ago, Paid $5 for it. It was beautiful. Perfect for the beach or for vacations. So someone sent me an offer of $20, which I gladly accepted. Okay, next item was mine that I was no longer wearing. So it was this loft green lace trim dress in a size 10. And I had it listed at one point for probably close to $30, but gradually kept lowering it. So when it got down to $14.77, somebody purchased it. Okay, next item to sell is this CJ Banks heavy duty denim zip front vest in a size 1X. It had these tomato uh, details on the inside collar and also on the front buttons. Let me see if I can get to it. So it zipped up the front and it had these tomato embellishments across the front. So cute. So I paid up for this. I paid like $5 at Goodwill a few months ago and I had it listed for $19.77, but someone sent me an offer of $14.99, which I gladly accepted. Okay, next thing to sell was also mine that I was no longer using. So it was this blue Digiway 40 pound digital shipping postal scale. I ended up getting a rose gold one and it matches my decor better. So I decided to sell this one and it actually brought my full asking price of $19.77. Okay, next item to sell. Oh geez, let's talk about Adriana Goldschmidt. So everybody that I watched on YouTube had such luck selling these that I was so excited to get them, but they weren't so lucky for me. So I only paid, thank God, a dollar for them at my little honey hole. And maybe it's because they were white, I really don't know, but they were boot cut, low rise, and in a size 32. And like I said, I paid a dollar for them and ended up sending out a best offer to Likers and someone took me up on $19.93. Okay, next item to sell was this Lucky Brand tank top. It was mixed media in a size large. I thought it was so beautiful and I thought it would fit me because it's a size large, but then I get it home and it runs small. So I paid $3 for this at Goodwill and had it listed at one point for $25, but wasn't getting a lot of interest in it. So, when somebody sent me an offer of $12.50, I gladly accept it. Okay, next item to sell I've had for quite a while it was this Juicy Couture Black Red Carpet Scotty Tote, and it was their most popular uh, style back in the day. The problem with this one, it had some damage on the handles. You could still use it, you just couldn't lug books in it, etc. <laughs> Anyway, I had it listed for one time probably at $70 and gradually kept lowering the price. So finally I sent out an offer to Likers for $40 and someone accepted. Okay, next item to sell. I purchased these doing retail arbitrage a while back. So I'm into each one for $11. This is the second one to sell and it is this Adidas, um, size large cycling ballista bike shorts. They were embroidered down the side. They were beautiful. Hot pink. 
and I paid $11 for these doing retail arbitrage and this pair ended up selling for $29.77. Next item to sell were these Lucky Brands Sweet and Low Cuffed Capris in a size 14. I picked these up also at my honey hole so I'm only in them for and I had them listed for $26.77 and ended up sending out an offer to Likers for $23.93 and that's what they sold for. Next item was these vintage Delta Blues in a size 22W jean shorts and I picked both of these up, this and the next when they both sold in a bundle on eBay. So I'm into each of them for $2 and I got them at my honey haul. So this first pair was the Delta Blues in a size 22W. Ended up selling on best offer for $12.09. And the next item she got was these LA Blues size 22 jean shorts. They were cuffed, wide leg, high rise. So like I said, I'm into both of them for $2 and yes, I'm gonna flip them for $12.09 with no problem. Next item to sell, I also purchased for myself, but unfortunately it ran small. And I paid $3 for this at Goodwill a while back. It was this cactus embellished uh, t-shirt, had the Grand Canyon on the front, a teepee. It was three, four sleeves. And I wanna say I had it listed for $25, but someone sent me an offer of $19.01, which I gladly accepted. Okay, next item I've had forever is these Victoria's Secret, Secret Sparkle Gems 7 8 leggings in a size large. And I bought these a while back at the store and I can't remember, I think they were on sale. But anyway, I bought them at the store and then got them home and they were way too big for me. So I think I got them for only $5 if I remember correctly. And I had them listed for 25, but when someone sent me an offer of 20, I gladly accepted. Next item to sell was this Lucky Brand. Um, it was kind of like a thermal top, but kind of lightweight. So it had bell sleeves. It had embroidered stars up on the shoulders and down near the cuffs. It was beautiful. So I paid $4 for this at Goodwill a few months ago and had it listed for 25, but we're going into summer now and I didn't want to be a storage unit. So when somebody sent me an offer of $20, I gladly accepted. Next item to sell, geez, you want to talk forever. This is probably two years. Okay, so I bought this doing some good line, good line, uh, goodwill online auctions. It was this duet, 10 karat gold and 925 sterling heart pendant necklace. It had the created opal and sapphire uh, gemstones. It was pretty. So I had it listed for $25 and someone sent me an offer of 20 and I realized they were in Canada and they would have to pay extra for shipping. So I went ahead and accepted. Hallelujah, it's out the door. Okay, next item. I just picked these up at my honey hole, so I paid a dollar. Look at these little cuffs down here. These were the cutest things. So they're Democracy size 6 flare fringe jeans, cropped in a size 6, and I had them listed for $29. Look at those cuffs. This is what drew me to those. They're so unique. So I had them listed for $29.77, and that's what they sold for. Okay, next item was mine that I didn't even end up wearing last year. So it, it was this no comment orange chemise sundress in a size large. It was lined with the lace overlay. Really pretty, great for summer. Listed it for $19.77 and that's what it sold for. Next item was this Bila size large tank top. It had the tassel tie, the cool print. It looks like embroidery, but it's not. And then it has like the flounce hem. So I picked this up at a yard sale last year, paid $2 for it. It was new with tags. 
and I listed it for $29.77. Got a whole bunch of lowball offers. I mean, I got up, I think somebody might have offered me 20, but I knew I was gonna sit on this until it sold for my full asking price, and that's what it did. So sometimes you just gotta sit on stuff. Okay, this next item was probably a bad pickup. <laughs> I went to a Methodist church rummage sale a couple months ago, and they had a whole bunch of stuff on the tables, but not a whole lot was left. But I just thought this piece was unique, so I picked it up. Problem is, I get it home, and it's broken. It doesn't stay shut. So it is a metal gemstones trinket box, not very big, and I only paid a quarter for it. So I decided, since it was broke right here, to go ahead and send it out to auction, and I listed it at auction for $1.77, and that's what it sold for. But the next piece is the best piece. I also picked this up at that rummage sale. Had no clue what this was, but was so intrigued. Only paid a quarter for it. Got home, did some research. It was this boxed national treasure, Gaki Zoshi Hein period, I don't even know, picture scroll of hungry ghosts. It was trippy. Look at these. These are on the scroll. The scroll's not very big. And somebody had drawn this. So the research that I had done, it looked like it came out of a museum or something. And I'm thinking, I wonder how it ended up here in Tucson. Well, I'm going to let you guys know what, the, uh, what I did. Well, first of all, okay, so I paid a quarter for it. So I didn't know what it was worth, and I sent it out to auction for $39.77, and it ended up only getting one bid, but the guy was really knowledgeable. So I'm going to jump to the note that he wrote me about this. Looks like so an that item that a Japanese museum may have commissioned for the gift really shop, is. or perhaps a printing company commissioned a set of reproductions for sale. Maybe to commemorate the artist, just a guess, but it appears well manufactured. The set as you described is correct. The Japanese have been fond of having spooky themed parties where they would tell ghost stories for centuries. Okay, then we're gonna move on to the next item. And it was this, I lost my place. It was this Adele J vintage woolen Angora cardigan sweater. It had the puff sleeves and the pearl buttons. And I ended up, let's see, how much did I pay for this? So I paid $2, no, I paid $4 for this at Goodwill not too long ago, and I had it listed for $24.77, and that's what it sold for. Okay, next item to pick up are these Levi's 505 straight leg mid-rise jeans in a size 12. I picked these up at my honey hole, so I'm only into them for a dollar. And I listed them low because I only paid a dollar for $14.77, and that's what they sold for. Okay, next item I picked up at, oh, a smaller thrift store and paid up for this. So I paid $8 for this, but it was new with tags, this Maxine Holly of Hollywood, size 16 swim dress. It had the tummy control, the animal print, V-neck, it was adorable. So I listed it for $39.77, and that's what it sold for. Okay, next item to sell was mine that no longer fit me due to COVID. <laughs> so it was these Indigo Rain size 11 jean shorts, light wash. I had uncuffed them. They had a lot of stretch. They were distressed, and I had them listed probably for $15.00. But someone sent me an offer of 13, which I gladly accepted. Next item was mine that I was no longer wearing, and it was these mini, mini Tonka <laughs> size 10 silver form braided leather sandals. And they had the padded soles, they were in pretty good condition. I had cleaned them up, you can see right here. So I had them listed for $24.77, and that's what they sold for. Next item I picked up for a couple bucks at Goodwill not too long ago. It's these Rockin' Republic size 14 jean shorts. 
They were distressed. They had the frayed hem and I had them listed for $19 and 77 cents and that's what they sold for. People are starting to buy shorts for the summer. Okay, next item I picked up at Goodwill. So I paid $3.29 for them. They were these Croft and Barrow size 3X classic pull-on jean shorts. They had the elastic waist, the high rise, and this cute detail on the hem. I just sold the new with tags pair last week, and I sold it for $19.77 as well. Okay, moving on. Next item I picked up a while ago, but I knew they'd sell come summer. So there were these Grand Co. beaded sandals in a size 10. They are so pretty with the beading on the top. And they looked to be in barely worn condition. I mean, they were worn, but they were still in really good condition. I just loved all this beadwork here. So I paid $5 for them at Goodwill. And I think I had them listed for probably $25. And someone sent me an offer of $18.78, which I gladly accepted. Okay, next item to sell, I picked up last year at a yard sale. So I picked these up at the same place I picked up the Born sandals that also sold. So I paid $2 for these, and they are these SAS Diabetic size six and a half sandals. They were leather, they were white, they had the Comfort Tripad, um, Trio 2 Mystique, yeah, all those words. So I had them listed for $40 and someone sent me an offer of $34.90, which I gladly accepted. Okay, next item to sell was this cute hat that I picked up not too long ago. I'm into it for a couple bucks. It was this Betmar denim bucket hat. So cute. It was foldable. You could take it to the pool. It doesn't matter. And what's cool is not only did it sell for my full price of $24.77, but it's on its way to Australia. Fascinating. Hope she loves her hat. Okay, next item to sell I picked up at my honey hole also. It was the, so I'm into them for a dollar, which is why I accepted that low price. So it was these Christopher and Banks size 12 Capri jeans medium wash and someone, I had them listed I think for 15 and someone sent me an offer of 10, which I gladly accepted. Okay, next item I picked up at a Goodwill. So I'm into them for $3.29. It was these soft surrounding size 2X elastic waist pants. But what was so unique about them is they had this cool crochet at the hemline it was just beautiful and they were new with tags. So I listed them for $24.77, but ended up sending out an offer to watchers for $22.90 and that's what they sold for. Okay, next item I've had around for a while. It used to sit behind me in the videos because it was so darn cute. So I'm into it for a couple bucks. Picked it up over a year ago. It was, oh, actually I got this at Goodwill Online Auctions. That's right, so I'm probably into it for $5. So it was this I Live to Shop Socialite Cigar Box purse. It had the, the gingham inside with the pocket, like a little suitcase with the tie, and it had on the front embellishments. Let me see if I can find this. The embellish, all the embellishments on the front. And what was so cool, it said, I live to shop, and it looked just like a Beverly Hills socialite walking down Rodeo Drive. And it was in really good condition. So cute. I hope she loves that because I liked having it in my videos. Anyway, I had it listed for $25, and she sent me an offer of $19, which I eventually accepted, grudgingly. <laughs> okay, next item to sell, probably have for three years. Doing retail arbitrage. So it was a new with tags, Ocean Jewel, Black Polka Dot, M Milo, Milo, however you pronounce that word. One piece swimsuit. And I'm into it probably for $15. But it retailed for $88. And I had it listed for $35 forever. I probably started it at $50. But when somebody sent me an offer of $25, 
Hallelujah, you can have it. So glad to see that go. Okay, next item is unique. So I picked this up at Goodwill, paid $5 for it. It was this new in box rustic Build-A-Deer kit. So it was pine wood, had the decorations included. Supposedly it was easy to assemble. And I thought, great, I'm gonna sit on this until next Christmas. But surprisingly, I listed it for $24.77 and somebody bought it in April. And what is so cool is they live in Canada. So I hope they have a great time building it. It was so darn cute. Okay, next item I saw was mine, which I was no longer wearing. So it was this black Torrid size zero zero cami tank. And it had the ruffle around the neck, butterfly print, cute as hell. Had it listed for $19.77, nobody was wanting it. So I lowered it to $14.77 and it sold. Sorry, I need some coffee. <clears throat> okay, next item to sell. I got this uh, for free. Kellogg's was running some promotion. I actually got two of them. So it was these Kellogg stainless, this one, Kellogg stainless steel water bottle, 500 milliliter. It had motivational sayings all over it. So you could just read them, you know, when you were working out and not having any energy. So I listed uh, both of them for $14.77 with free shipping and one sold. Okay, next item to sell. I picked these up at my honey hole, so I'm into them for a dollar. They are these YMI size seven, wanna bet a butt, cuffed contouring curves capri jeans. And I had them listed for $24.77 Somebody sent me an offer of 22, which is a fantabulous return on my dollar, and I accepted. Okay, last item to sell on eBay during this time period. I paid $4 for these at Goodwill. These are D jeans, size 14, Capri jeans, and they had the pretty embroidery around the pockets. They were whiskered. They were petite. And I had them listed for $20 and someone sent me an offer of 18, which I gladly accepted. Okay, we're gonna move on to Poshmark. Okay, the first thing to sell on Poshmark, I picked up at Goodwill not too long ago and I paid $5 for this. So it was this band of gypsies, broomstick, high-low, gorgeous dress in a size large. It had this slit in the front and the ruffle hem. And I had it listed for $30 and someone sent me an offer of 25, said she loved the dress, wanted to wear it to a wedding. And would I accept her offer, which I gladly did. So this dress will be worn to a wedding this year. Okay, next item to sell, I picked up at my honey hole. I waited for it to go down to a dollar cause I wasn't gonna pay more than a dollar for it. So it was this size three purple red hat lady dress in an embroidery. It had embroidery, had the embellishments. It was in a size three X. It was kind of like a lounge dress, comfort dress, wear around the house, you know. And I had it listed for $25 and someone sent me an offer of 22, which I gladly accepted. Okay, next item to sell, I picked up at Goodwill. So I paid $4 for this, for these. And it was these Merrill Unifly All Out Crush running shoes in a size nine. They, I love the colors on them, which is what drew them to me to begin with. So I had them listed for $45 and someone sent me an offer of 40, which I thought was really reasonable. And I gladly accepted. Okay, next item to sell on Poshmark was this Pulp Fiction t-shirt. It had Uma Thurman on the front and it was in a size medium. I picked it up at Goodwill, paid $3.29 for it, had it listed for $25 and that's what it sold for. Okay, next item to sell, I paid a dollar for it my honey haul. It was these Wallflower Insta Soft Jeans, and they were really, really, really soft. In a size 17, and they were called the Sassy. 
the sassy style, sassy fit. Okay, so they were a skinny sassy. Anyway, I had a Melissa for $25, and someone sent me an offer of $18, which I thought was really reasonable, so I gladly accepted. Okay, next item to sell. I picked this up at a little thrift store, so I paid $6 for it, like, I don't know, a week ago. It was new with tags. I have never found Lily in the wild, other than at TJ Maxx, and it was in this pretty prep green color. And it was called the Hit the Spot Skirt. So I didn't know how to price it, because see, here's the tag, 138. And I tried to run comps, but couldn't find any in this colorway. But that's okay, because I only spent $6 for it. I listed it for 50, and within hours, it sold for my full asking price. I'm good with that. Okay, next item to sell I've had forever. Doing retail arbitrage, so it was this new tags, Eva Mendez, pink lace, Clara dress. I have two of them. I still have one left. I think the 14 is the one that sold. And the color on this is called Bridal Pink. So I had it listed at one point, I want to say for $50 and gradually kept lowering it. So when it got, let me make sure this is what she actually paid for that. Yeah. Yeah. I had it listed for $35, and that's actually what it sold for. Hallelujah, this three-year dress is out the door. Okay, next thing to sell. Uh, let's see where I got this at. Okay, so I paid $3.29 for these at Goodwill. This is Velvet Heart size 30 jean shorts. But what was cool is they had all over embroidered stars on them. Really unique. And I had them listed for $15.00. And that's what they sold for. Okay, let me turn the page so I know where we're at. Okay, next item to sell. I picked up, paid $3.29 for this at a small thrift store. It was new without tags. You could tell it had never been worn. And it was this Lane Bryant Livy high impact sports bra in a size 44G. And I had it listed for $30. I want to say I might have had it. No, I probably only had it listed for $30. And someone sent me an offer of $25, which normally I wouldn't take. I'd want $30 for this. But what I did was I looked on the other two sites and didn't have any interest in it. So, yes, you can have it for $25. I had a bundle sale. I had a bundle sale. So rare. I've had these for a while. Paid $2 for them at a yard sale where I got those other two pair of shoes that you guys saw that I sold on eBay. So it was these Picolinos black leather slip-on heel shoes in a size seven and a half, and they were in really good condition. Um, I had them listed for 40, but I sold this bundle of three pieces for $60. So we're gonna say I sold them for $20. And the next item in her bundle was something that I bought at a thrift store and paid $3 for this. So it was a tie-dye lounge patio dress, midi dress, by Dreams and Company in a size large. So we're gonna say she got that for $20. And then the last item she got, my friend got me for Christmas because I thought I really wanted it and then I never wore it. So it was this no brand tie-dye eye cat high-low tuning top in a size large. So I didn't have any money into it, and we're going to say she paid $20 for that one. So that was the three-piece bundle that I was so excited for. Next item, I paid a dollar for on dollar days at Goodwill. So it was this Nirvana smiley face, never mind, vintage t-shirt in a size medium. And I want to say I had it listed for $20, and someone sent me an offer of $16, which I gladly accepted. Next item was a giveaway. <laughs> I picked this up not too long ago, but I'm into it for $5. So it's this Under Armour size 2X polo heat gear anti-odor golf shirt. And I had it listed for $20, and I don't know what was going on that day. I probably just wanted to get rid of it. So when someone sent me an offer of $10, I gladly accepted. Okay, and the last item to sell on Poshmark. I picked up at a small thrift store, so I'm into it for $3.29. It was this Coors Original Navy logo hat, 
Brewer's Snapback in really good condition. And I think I had it listed for $25, but someone sent me an offer of $17, which I gladly accepted. Okay, now we're gonna move on to my pitiful sales at Macari. Okay, I only had three sales on Macari during this time period. First item I picked up at Goodwill, paid $3 for. They were these Not Your Daughter's Jeans, sequin crop, lift and tuck jeans in a size 14. And I had them listed for $25, but someone sent me an offer of 23, which was really reasonable and I gladly accepted. Next item to sell, I picked up at a yard sale. So I paid a dollar for these about a year ago. And at one point I had them listed for probably $35. And someone sent me an offer of 23 and hallelujah, you can have them. I'm tired of storing them. This next item I paid up for, which is, I paid $10 for this at Goodwill, which is outrageous for me. But I knew that they were coming back in style. I just didn't know that I would flip this in 24 hours. So I listed it for $50 on all three platforms and by the next morning, it had sold for my full asking price of $50. It had the crown and ivy bling on the back. Oh, look, if I click on that, I can actually show you good pictures without that sole on there. I'll have to remember this for next time. So yeah, it sold for my full asking price, turning 10 into 50 overnight. Love it. Okay, so, so that was all my sales for the week of April 5th through the 11th, quite a few. I hope this trend continues. I'm just loving it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I'll see you on the next one.